Hi everybody, it's me, Carrie, with MemoryInkers.com. Today, um, uh, as part of the blog hop, uh, we're talking about bundles, and I know there is so much new right now in Stampin' Up, and you're all excited about it, as am I. But let's not forget some of our favorites. So I'm, you're going to see a lot on my blog talking about some of the things that are going to be retiring, like this beautiful stamp set, Butterfly Basics. It has been a longtime favorite of mine. It has some beautiful images, and it has the most wonderful um, framelits that go with it. Of course, these framelits can be used with anything, um, and they're not sold as a bundle anymore. They were a bundle. Um, but you can see um, this one will cut out this little butterfly here, and then just the other butterflies are just so beautiful. So. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of cards for you with this um, beautiful uh, Butterfly Basics Retiring Stamp Set. Uh, I wanted you to have a sneak, or not a sneak peek, but a farewell look at this beautiful stamp set. Uh, this is the first card that I made, and it also uses all retiring products. The Island Indigo cardstock is retiring, as is the Island Indigo Ombre Ribbon which is just, uh, it's so beautiful. And this, uh, the green back here is Wild Wasabi, which is also retiring. Um, we're going to miss it very much. The, the gems in the butterfly are from this fabulous set, Glitter Enamel Dots. I was really hoping this would carry over, but it is not. Um, so if you like these, I would definitely say stock up. They're so pretty. And the fact that they, um, become variegated in color is just um, and size so the size goes this way and then the color this way it's just oh they're so beautiful so these are just a couple of things that um, will be going away now I'm going to remake this card but I'm going to make it a little bit differently and instead of the um, variegated I'm going to be using oh what are these called metallic enamel shapes and I'm going to be using the ones in silver Okay, they are also retiring. And I am going to be using as my card base, Soft Sky, which this one, I have to tell you, really surprised me when I found out it was retiring because I thought it was a really popular color. But there is a blue replacing it. But still, if you have the Soft Sky ink pad and you love it as much as I did, make sure you quickly order your refill uh, if you're looking for the marker, uh, extra card stock, whatever, because you know that uh, when things go on the retiring list, when they go, they're gone. So um, make sure you, you get those as quickly as you can. So uh, I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. And I am going to, instead of uh, doing it in portrait style, I'm going to do this card um, in landscape. And I'm going to start with this image, which is not the same as the um, leaves that I used on the other one. And I need to need to put a piece behind me because I am going to stamp over the edges. So I, I think I've showed this tip before, but I'm going to show you again. Again, this is the wild wasabi, which will be retiring. Um, so you want to ink that up. I know mine needs re-inking, but um, I, I'm going to be selling it with my re-inker eventually, I think. I might just keep it because it's such a pretty color. So I'm stamping this onto the Whisper White cardstock. And then I could do the thing where, you know, you do the squeezy pad thing where you squeeze it and you get ink on the bottom. So I could have done this in um, a memento. In fact, I did practice with that um, with memento. Let me show you my scraps so you can see <laughs> how what I how I think things out. This was full strength with memento, and I decided that was just way too strong. And then this was second generation, and this one was third. I know the coloring is terrible, but you know when you're just testing things out, you're not that concerned. This is actually what I decided would be nice and soft to go with the um, soft sky uh, cardstock. So what I'm going to do is grab my blender pen, 
which I left on the other table. And I'm going to start out, I want this center to be a little bit green. And if you see, um, I'm hoping if you guys um, zoom in a little bit here, you can see that when you use the blender pen on the classic ink pads, you can actually um, brush some of the color into it. Hold on, I will get a, a really strong here. This shows, and I'll I'll lift that up for you. So can you see how it's starting to color in the green? So that's just with the blender pen. And so I'm doing that with just the blender pen on this one. I would sing for you guys, but I like you, so I'm not going to do that. Ha ha. Okay. So you get the idea that just rubbing it with the blender pen is giving me some wild wasabi highlights and lightly um, putting green where I want it. And then of course you know to clean off your blender pen. Then I am going to use the soft sky ink pad and I'm going to do the squeezy technique. I do have the markers here. Um, you could do it with the markers, but they give you a much stronger look. And because I wanted this to be really soft, um, I'm doing it like this. And, and even with these, I'm trying to be a little bit careful with um, the coloring because this will pull the green too. So you kind of have to be a little careful. Oh, I just went outside the lines. And I'm kind of more dabbing on the color than rubbing like I was when I was getting the green to flow. I'm not doing a very good job. I never do on videos. It's kind of sad. So, <laughs> but can you, you can see how I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit. And some of it I think has been a little too strong. So, okay, so you get the idea. So hold on just a minute. I'll show you the finished one. Okay, so um, here it is all finished and colored in. Now um, I'm going to take some of the um, classic weave ribbon, also in sa soft sky. Yes, this is retiring, of course, because the color is. Um, so I'm going to use that. And I am going to use some snail on the back. You have to really um, go slowly or else it does not stick. And then I like to line it up with the grid paper so I can make an attempt to get a fairly straight ribbon placement. There are no guarantees in my world, but I, I give it a good college try. And then just push the ends in the back, add some more snail, get that pressed down. And, oh, gosh, <laughs> that blender pen just wants to play, I guess. Now, I like to add a little bit of um, snail over the top when I've tucked this ribbon, just to give it an extra hold when I put it on the card front. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Then before I add any adhesive to the butterfly, I'm going to pre-bend the wings up a little bit and curve it with my fingers. Just go gently because it's gonna it it's gonna want to make fold marks, and you don't want it to have folds, which is how I got um, this butterfly to be lifted. Then if you're careful and you hold your butterfly like this. Then you can take your adhesive and run it with it on your finger and it will um, put adhesive just where you want it on the body of the butterfly. And I want to be able to put this in an envelope so I have to try to decide exactly where I want my butterfly. Okay, that works. Yep, and that'll go into an envelope. Now I'm going to add a bow and um, I've taught you this trick too. I don't like my bows to come untied. So after I tie them, I put a piece of tear and tape 
and it holds everything in place. It'll keep your bow securely onto your project and it will keep your bow from untying. And you know, we take our time to make our bows pretty. So we want them to last. And my bow is gonna go right there. And then lastly, I'm going to, sorry about that, use my paper snips to lift up some of these fun things. And you don't need to do this. I realize that putting this on the front sort of hides the head. I don't know if you guys, if I'm in the way, I apologize. But um, basically you're going to get those on and then What's nice about these is they do progressively get smaller, so that's like perfect for this little guy's body. And since there's only four, I'm going to space them a little bit more than I did on the... Uh, oh, there's five. Okay, cool. I was wrong. Just ignore me. It's not going to be the first time I was wrong, just so you know, in case you're a first-time watcher. <laughs> Um, again, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. It's been kind of fun um, having so many of you start to follow me here on YouTube and on my blog, memoryinkers.com. So thank you for that. It, I do appreciate it very much. And I hope you'll tell your friends to come and watch my videos too. Okay, so that's not very straight. I'll fix it because... <laughs> I just never can do anything really good on a video, but I wanted you to see the idea. And now that I'm looking at that, I'm not real crazy about where that butterfly is placed. So with snail, if you're very careful and you go very slowly and soon after you've adhered it, you can move your, your project. But after a while, you're not gonna be able to do that. So anyway, so that's my pool party. I'm sorry, my soft sky design and this is the island indigo again this uh these colors except for of course the whisper white the colors and the ribbons and the embellishments they're all retiring as is this beautiful um butterfly thinlets die number 137360 and the butterfly basic stamp set number um in the clear mount it is number uh, 138816. It is available also in wood mount if you prefer that. But um, I just wanted to have an opportunity to, to say goodbye to these wonderful colors and wonderful projects that we have all come to love so much. Um, I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't want all of you to get so excited about all the new stuff that you miss out getting some of your favorite things that are going to be gone very soon. So... Um, all of the things that you see here on my screen are going to be retiring. So if you don't have them and you want them, um, please contact your demonstrator or me right away so that you can get your hands on this beautiful Butterfly Basics and the Butterfly um, Thinlets and, of course, all of the amazing colors that are going. The colors are the big thing that you want to hurry with, especially re-inkers. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Remember to go to memoryinkers.com where um, this video will be part of a Stampers by the Dozen blog hop. Bye.